Hello again, Martin from South Wales Injector Removals. Um, not an injector removals uh, job, but definitely injector removals related. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to seal the scuttle, which is the main problem for the water ingress getting into the injectors. Uh, this is a 2.5, and as you can see, the, uh, the injectors pulled up nicely in water. Um, and the, the, the way the water gets in, and this job is totally DIY, as long as you've got uh, a basic tool kit, you need um, a 15mm spanner or an adjustable spanner do just as well. Um, to get the, the wiper motors off. I've taken the, the bonnet off just for, I'm doing, I'm doing a different job on the van, um, but I thought while the bonnet's off, I'll, I'll seal the scuttle for the customer. Um, so it's a totally DIY job. There's a plastic panel that goes on top here, um, right the way across. It's only held on by these little plastic clips. So there's a small plastic clip there and another one the other end. You pop them two off, undo the bolts, for the wiper, wiper arms, pull the wiper arms off, undo those plastic bolts, then the plastic top will come off to reveal the actual scuttle itself. Then the scuttle, you need a T30, which is a torque 30, it's like a, a star um, socket, and it's just, uh, I think there's six bolts. So there's one there, one there, one there, one in the middle, one on the outside, one on the outside, so it's seven bolts in all. Um, they're the offending articles to let all the water in. What happens? Water comes down the windscreen, sits in there, supposed to drain through that, which is located there, and these block up really easily, and so the water just sits there. The lowest level is around here, right in the middle. It drips over there, down there, onto that little tray, and then just drops the water straight on top of the engine. So what you do, uh, like I say, take the plastic cover off, undo all the bolts, the, the only tricky thing is, right, undo the wiper motor, which is just a push down clip. So you push it down there, and then that pops off the wiper. Then the washer, um, undo that, which is just a push connector. And then the tricky thing is, I do it and leave the motor um, on. So what you've got to do, you've actually got to pull this bottom towards you and down towards the engine and so it's it's sort of that motion because the you'll see now when you get it off see so if you pull it down and towards you it comes off complete and that's why you pull it towards you because those wiper arms actually are in the way a little bit um, put that there Right, and so this is what it looks like when it's all off. And all you've got to do is clean up this edge, the leading edge. So you clean it up all across there, rub all the dirt and grease and give it a clean the best you can. Um, so, because all they do, they put a, like a, a double-sided sticky rubber mat on it in the factory and hoping that's going to seal it. Well, it doesn't. So what I do... I use this stuff, gasket maker, um, I use winds, only because I'm lazy and it's in a pressurised can. Uh, take the top off, and if you pressurise the can, it gives a little bit sticking out. And just run a nice, nice thick bead, you know, yes these cans are quite expensive, they're about 8-10 quid a can. But nice thick bead all the way across. Go nuts for there a little bit all the way around it. It don't matter if it goes everywhere. And this, you can see why I use the pressurised can. It's nice and easy. What's I'm doing? Right, uh, put a little bit of roll across there. And basically, you just fit the scuttle back on and um, make sure that um, the, the drain holes are uh, nice and empty. Um, you can use a pair of snips and cut them off. They are only located in the side there. If you wanted to, you can leave them off. Uh, my van, the personal van I drive, 
I've left them off. Uh, the water goes down there, straight down onto the, the inner wing, same side, the other side, it goes down to um, over, over the top of the water bottle and stuff like that, and it's totally fine, and it doesn't go on the injectors at all. So there we are, nice quick job, totally DIY job, um, should take you probably an hour, and uh, with the lockdown, you've got plenty of hours to spare, so save yourself some money and uh, seal your scuttles while the weather's nice. Right, see you again, bye.